Well, hello there, everybody. It is I, your puny King Dre, and welcome to another episode of Thronefall. Today, we're going to the Ice World because, well, that's the one we haven't done yet, so obviously that would make the most sense to do next. Gotta be honest, though, I have been uh, playing this a lot off recording, trying to get some unlocks and whatnot. Super addictive. Uh, definitely one of my favorite games this year so far. It's just so simple, but so perfect. And uh, yeah, I understand a little bit more how to play, so hopefully we can deal with the Ice Kingdom or the Frost Sea. And yeah, we'll see how we can do here. Now, I don't remember what I had unlocked the last time I actually recorded, but I have a bunch of new perks and whatnot. I did just unlock War Horse. My horse is faster and riding over enemies deals some damage. I definitely would like to try that with the Heavy Sword, because uh, the Heavy Sword, you have to get close and personal. So I think it makes the most sense to have this perk with this weapon. And being that we uh, can earn these quests to earn extra XP, we on B, we can achieve a victory with the Sword as well as the Snake Mutator. Enemies drop less gold, but you get 20% more more points and XP if you win. Enemies actually don't drop much gold to begin with, so uh, honestly, I'll put that mutator on anyways. That's probably the best choice. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go for B right now. This is my first run on this new map, so I don't want to do too many of these quests at once. Uh, I find that the more things you unlock, the easier these quests generally are, and we still very much have a lot of unlocks to do, as you can see. All right, mostly because of the name, I want to use God's Lotion. <laughs> Your regenerative health is much faster, and the delay before the uh, health and regeneration start is reduced. Being that I'm going to be getting close and personal with my sword, I feel like this is perfect. And yeah, it's just called God's Lotion. I mean, how could I not? Uh, so yeah, I haven't done this map for the record, so I don't know what's to be expected here. Super excited to find out. And here we are at our little castle. Now let's look around and see what we got. Ooh, that is extremely close. Okay, so I don't think this is going to be a big map. I thought it would be a big one. Yeah, looks like we kind of just wrap around a lake and there is a bunch of di different entryways on each side that the enemies can come from. So this is going to be really difficult because they're going to be in my kingdom literally instantly. I can't even put a wall up here to block them, I don't think. Um, so do I want to focus on money right now? That's seven swordsmen. You know what? Let's take the risk. I want to get earning money as quickly as possible. Oh, what is this? A blacksmith. Research upgrades. Upgrades apply to you, your units, and your buildings. Oh, well, that's tempting. But yeah, let's focus on money right now. I hope Seven Swordsman isn't too bad. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's a fishing or there's a harbor, which builds a boat every morning. Each boat generates one gold per day. All right, so we want to get that down very, very quickly. I think these, the houses are actually smarter right now because I'm going to earn two gold today. And if I did build this harbor, I'd actually earn nothing today. All right, let's uh, start our night. And I need to do all the damage here. So I'm using my special abilities as quickly as possible. These guys are taking a lot of damage, as you can see. And with my regenerative health, I think we'll be okay here. Oh, yeah, we are totally fine. Okay, so I think it was smart to go for the houses first. Not intentional. I should have looked at all my upgrades before I decided on something. Um, so I just want to double check to see if we got anything else. We do have these random towers around. What the hell are the water drops? I don't like that. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's so annoying, though. I only have four gold earned that run. Okay. <laughs> That's nothing. Um, but yeah, I think that makes the most sense to do this. It's just annoying. I have one extra gold and I can't put that anywhere because I don't have any. I don't have any windmills here. So I'm glad I didn't go into a windmill perk. Um, so I think next goal will be, I don't know if we want to go to the blacksmith too early. I think we need some teammates here. So next round, assuming we survive this, we'll definitely uh, get some sort of infantry going on. And what the hell are these things? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, it's just snowballs. It's literally snowballs. I'm doing so much damage to these guys. So, yeah, the sword, I don't know if I explained it, but it swipes multiple enemies. That was a good choice, clearly. So those were some extremely weak enemies. And now we finally built our first boat. Uh, so I think this will be a good investment. I wonder if the boats go away, though, if this thing does get destroyed. Okay, we got crossbowmen coming in. Um, I got five gold. I could technically buy the blacksmith if I want to. But again, I got to focus on money output. I also want to focus on defenses too, though. So I think the good idea right now is to do one house and one tower where the enemies are coming in. Just because I want to make sure that harbor's okay. If we lose that harbor, I'm wondering if we lose um, all its progress in terms of... Oh my god! Okay, those guys do way more damage than I expected. Good thing I have a tower here doing a crap load of damage to them. All right, so we're back alive, and we survived it, but I did technically die once. But that's okay. The king can die as long as my towers don't, because I earn more XP um, if my kingdom is 100% protected. God, gold is going to be hard to earn on this. So we got 45 now. I did okay with 17, but 45 is a lot more. 
So I'm thinking we should maybe get into my infantry now. I don't want to be overrun in terms of gold earnings, though. So I could technically put two more homes down if I wanted to. Maybe even upgrading the... I uh, can't even afford the castle upgrades right now. So yeah, I think the best idea is to unlock some sort of archers here. I did get hunters. Hunters are fast and effective against monsters. I don't know if ordinary humanoids are considered monsters. They have decent self-defense capabilities in melee combat, but are vulnerable against ranged attacks. You know what? I, I, I'm going to try them. See how good they are. We're going to bring these guys a little bit over. I do want to keep them back because I think they are a ranged unit. N you know what? No, let's actually bring them up front because they should respawn by the time we uh, need them. And it's actually pretty far away from my castle um, in terms of this map, at least. It's still pretty close, but yeah, this is pretty much as far as we can go. Oh, God, my damage output of this sword is fantastic. I got to watch my health, though. Okay, so they do come in waves. It looks like we're doing totally fine dealing with these waves. Oh, yeah, this is this is good. I'm glad we went for the infantry. And man, my special attack is just mowing these guys down. That was so easy. That was 45. That was nothing. All right, let's go into first and foremost to see how this blacksmith works. I'm going to invest into this. And ooh, okay, so 20% melee damage, three days to research. Oh, this is like a research building. All right, being that I'm in ranged and I'm a melee unit, I don't think going for attacks will be smart because I'm only helping either me or my um, infantry. So I think we should go into armor. 30% melee resistance. and only takes two days to do that. So uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh God, I'm a little nervous right now. We got 10 with only four units right now. And a siege engine. It looks like a battering ram we have to deal with. I'm going to try and slowly take down this tower, but I do want to focus more on the infantry. Oh yeah, we are doing totally fine against that thing. I do like these hunters. These hunters seem to have a crap load of health. And siege tower's down. No big deal. Oh yeah, we are doing totally fine here. All right, I don't know if I want to buff myself or start earning more income by getting Builder's Guild. Because uh, I do have to put down a lot of homes. I think I'm going to do Builder's Guild. It's probably the most boring. Ah, because I don't get the damage output, though. All right, it's always hard for me to choose which one I want to do. I'm thinking Royal Training, as boring as that is. It's just a good all-arounder. This one is fantastic if I execute my special ability all the time. I'm very forgetful, so I think the smarter idea would be to uh, do the, the royal training, as boring as that is. And at least then we're always getting the buff that we need. And we got flyers coming in this way. Can these guys... Okay, so yeah, these guys can hit them. I can't do anything here. I can't actually hit these guys. So I'm just watching. Thank God for my hunters, though, man. These guys are great. All right, they actually dropped three gold. Wow, that's pretty good considering it was nine enemies. And we have that perk that makes them drop less gold, so... I have 10 gold now. I need 20 for my upgrade on my city. All right, I think I'm going to do flails over here because those water droplets are constantly coming. And flails are good against massive mobs. Uh, and then we have one more. I believe it was... No, which one was it? This one right here. So we're going to invest into that as well. And I'm just going to go for the all-arounder a knight over here. And I think that should be good. And then we can invest into one more home. All right, well, my team's doing great. I'm going to go help them out. I don't know which way the, the the other team's coming, but I need to use these special attacks. Wow, we lost a lot of my units. Um, I just want to see here. Are they coming this way? No, I don't think they are. So they're coming the other way. We should be okay. And there they are. Perfect. This is going well. I feel like for, for my first run, this is definitely the most difficult lands. Um, so far, I think we've been 100% every time. I haven't dropped any of my towers. And it's just because infantry is so damn useful in this game. All right, so I think we got to focus on money output now. Let's just look at what we're dealing with for this round, though. So we got 30 water droplets coming in. Easy. And then we got some of those spike balls. And I think that's it. That's actually pretty easy, all things considered. So I think I'm going to invest heavily into income earning. So we're going to put that down there. All right, well, I believe mines earn five gold. Mind you, they... Yeah, so they cost five, and they're going to earn five per round. So, yeah, that's definitely a good investment, I think. And, unfortunately, I can't use that as a teleportation device because I don't have an extra mine. All right, we'll put them here. Nighttime is a coming, and we are destroying, hopefully. Oh, they all spawn at once. That's a little horrifying. But, yeah, this freaking sword swipe is fantastic. Now, these guys do not go for infantry, so I got to focus my damage output on these. Because they're just going to go right for the towers. And they have a lot of health, as you can see. Not my house. Not my house, you little jerk. Oh, this is the first time they're actually in my village. Maybe I should have kept my infantry back. Oh, God. This is actually scary. Infantry, please come over. Oh, God. Okay, it's about 90%. I, th I think we're fine. I don't like when my castle's being attacked, though. I can't get... Oh, what the hell? Oh, they're still fighting them. They're blocking them. Yes, you beautiful bastards. 
Ah, uh, but yeah, I don't like not having walls. There's no safety net on this map. Ah, oh, but look at that gold input now. Oh, fantastic. We'll just put down a bunch of towers everywhere. I need my damage output at my base. I'm actually curious what this upgrade does, so screw it. I'm going to do this as well. I think that just gives me more boats. It doesn't explain it, though, which is weird. Uh, but I think I'll put a tower right here. This is a good defensive place for a tower. All right, so night 9 out of 13. Going really, really well, honestly. This is fantastic. Uh, I can't help too much, and I have a lot of melee units, so I'm definitely going to have some things falling today. This is the downside of melee units. Thankfully, we do have the hunters around. But, oh god, they're gonna do so much damage to me. Oh god, I can't do anything! Swipe! Swipe in the air! Jump with your horse! Okay, well, we're fine, but uh, I don't like that. I don't like not feeling like I can help. I'm really glad I put down a crap load of towers, though. Even if they're basic ones, that was nice. How much of my kingdom was damaged there? Um, 67% protected. Oh man, that was a lot of damage. Uh, meaning my, my output's not too great. I lost my mine, unfortunately. So I think the best idea right now is to invest 20 into my kingdom. That will allow this to have more defense and more attack. And it'll also give me a major buff. So I think that's the best investment right now. And I'm going to go for commander this time. And that means I'm going to have to command my troops. That will give me a healing aura. So we're probably going to lose this battle. But hopefully we respawn in time to defend the kingdom here. So good luck, everybody. Please stay near me so I can heal you. Oh, God, they're spawning in so quickly. Okay, so I need to actually tell them not to follow me because I don't think they attack then. And I don't know if my healing aura is working very well. I mean, it's a good battle right now, though. This is fantastic. All right, can someone kill the crossbowmen, please? I'm scared of them. They actually scare me. Oh, wait, where are you going, CJ? You know what? Go over there. Actually, don't kill my harbor. I don't appreciate that. Oh, God, help me, guys. Oh, please. Please don't kill this harbor. I mean... It's not a bad harbor because it only has three boats right now, but I would still not like for that to fall. Oh, it's going to fall, isn't it? Come on, you jerks! All right, well, all things considered, that's not too bad. Losing one harbor in a battle and, well, actually my mine too. That's a lot of my gold output. Oh, God, it's just so hard to defend. All right, walls, I think, are smart right now. Is this a wall? Yes. Um, I don't think I need that right now, though, because we got enemies coming in from over here. Yes. More infantry, the better. And thank God. I'm going to go for the hunters again. They seem to be fantastic. So we'll bring everyone over to the fun area where the battle is commencing. All right. And I don't think I'm going to build that hamlet. I want to focus on upgrades at my main base. At least putting down all the towers that I can and the walls, for example, would be smart. So yeah, I'll put down this tower. I got 10 left. I wonder if I should go... This was nine, wasn't it? Um, yeah, you know what? Let's invest into this, see if it's any different. Okay, so it's a... Oh, interesting. So I can do the same upgrade if I wanted to. And I think I will. So we'll do melee armor again. So we technically will have 60% defense on melee once that is researched. Mind you, I don't think I have many days left. So I hope I can get that in time. Let's actually see how many days I have left. 11 out of 13. So final wave, I will get the, the 30%. Why are you guys going this way? Stay... Stop going this way! Oh, I need more archers. I need more archy towers. Oh, please, for the love of God. I, I'm just watching my kingdom fall, and I can't do anything about it. I mean, I guess I could try and help these guys at least. All right, I don't like that. It's almost at 50% health. That is... Oh, man, the flyers are really screwing me over, aren't they? All right, and of course, now we're being attacked from both sides. Other side will be easy to defend. This side, I need to upgrade some towers or something. I need more castle defense. I don't even think the wall uh, blocks the flyers, so there's no sense putting anything on the wall. Um, wow, 10 to upgrade the wall? It was 5 on the other map. That's insane. All right, so I'm just going to try and put towers down pretty much everywhere. The more damage output, the better. That should help with those. We got a lot of guys coming in this way, so I want this tower here. That's going to be destroyed, though. So actually, if we upgrade this, we can make it a bomb, I believe. Oh, crap, it's one more upgrade. I forgot. All right, well, that should be a good tower anyways. Probably the worst tower to upgrade first, because it's going to take so much damage, but okay. Oh, yeah, we're doing so much damage. You know what? I'm going to let them do that. See if I can help out defend this tower for as long as possible, because this thing's going to go down pretty quickly here. No, my good tower. Yes. Come on, giant. Follow me, you big idiot. Okay, back inside. Hunters, there's a problem behind you. Can you please come this way? Yes, there we go. Thank you, everybody. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can take my small village. I don't care. Just don't take my castle, please. 
Never mind. They're going for the one tower. Please feel free. Okay, back in action. All we have is siege engines we have to worry about now. And all they care about is destroying everything besides me, which is fantastic. Just going to sit in here and swipe all of them at the same time. Don't take the freaking village. Come on, guys. Hit them quick. I just, I need to save that. Need to save it. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. That was butt clenching. All right. Look at all that gold coming in. And I believe this is the final wave. Oh, great. It's a question mark. I wonder what that could mean. Oh, my God. It's coming from the water. I don't like that. All right. Well, I did upgrade the hunters. Uh, and they, they are, are said to be good against enemies or monsters. And I'm assuming this is going to be a monster. I think the best idea to do right now is to just upgrade any localized towers and actually make them decent. So I'm going to turn this into a ballista, I think. I think that's the smartest idea. Um, and then I guess we'll just upgrade these to tier twos because I want every one of these upgraded around my castle. All right, and a home for good luck because that's all I can afford. I, I don't even know if my placement is good right now. I'm going to go stand over here because I have a feeling it's going to come this way. And let's find out what the hell is in the lake. Okay, okay, that's insane. That's actually insane. Am I, why am I running away? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, where's it going? I can't. I don't have ranged attacks. I need to go up cl close and personal. What the hell is this? Oh, it's spawning things. Okay, you know what? Let's let's deal with the spawners. The archers can deal with the big boy. This is so cool. I didn't expect a boss fight. All right, so just looking at the way the boss is working, I think he spawns different waves. It looks like it's going to be like eight more waves. And he's puking out some enemies. Great. Uh, they're spawning in over here. So I'm just going to keep my infantry localized because I don't know where he's going to go next. Oh, my God. They're doing so much damage to him. Yeah, is that damage or is that... I think that is enemy spawns is his HP bar. Oh, uh, well, there goes the wall. Dude, I'm gonna have to survive so many waves of this. This is actually insane. All right, as long as this tower stays up, I'll be comfortable. I did lose one tower already, though. That's not very great. But, I mean, we're definitely gonna take some damage with these waves. Did he spawn something else? I think these guys should, should be okay. I need to go help. Yep, there's a new spawn here. Where the hell is my infantry? I don't have any freaking infantry here. Oh, where's he going now? Don't go. Oh, God, he's going here. I'm scared he's going to spawn some right in my kingdom. Okay, he's going right beside the gate. These guys should be fine. Oh, this gate is already damaged so much. I'm still trying to figure out the HP bar. So I'm just going to try and hit him a bit as he's puking out these guys. So, yeah, he resets once they're all spawned. I don't know if I'm damaging his bar of spawning enemies, though. All right, that was good, though. That we, we still haven't dropped the wall. And again, I'm going to just smack him right in the face as quickly as possible. I can't believe this wall is still up, honestly. Oh, no, I knew it. I freaking knew it, you jerks. Get over, boys. He's putting them right in. Oh, my God, that's insane. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. How am I supposed to defend this? Oh, come on, little castle. You can do it. There's only two more spawns left. If I can just deal with these guys... And they deal with everything else, I think we'll be okay. It's got 50% health. I don't know if my castle regens health or not. And back to these. This is such a cool final battle. Not sure where these uh, big guys are going, but feel free to not go to your, near my damn castle. Okay, and that is the final dot. So I, do we have to fight him now? Uh, I have a feeling we do. Okay, guys, come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Guys, oh my god, he's going in. Oh my god, how did I miss this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, help me. Help me for the love of god, it's a castle. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't... Dude, there's no way. There's no freaking way. He's so low. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. That was... <laughs> that was such a cool fight. And being that I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I, I'm pretty happy with how I did. All right, so we got challenged the Falcon God. Enemies are a lot faster. And I didn't get another upgrade, unfortunately. Oh, hey, would you look at that? We're back at the boss fight. Uh, doing much better this time. I should mention I did take off the um, debuff I was getting against uh, gold currency earnings. So I have earned a lot more money. Uh, went heavily into infantry this time. So I have, I think, every infantry upgraded at least once. I don't know if I want to upgrade it again because that's 16. That's kind of insane. And I haven't really focused much on the towers. So being that we know what's to be expected now, I kind of know where I want to upgrade. They're going to go directly for these walls. So I think like doing these towers makes the most sense. Um, I don't know if I'll upgrade them again. I don't have a lot of money right now. So I want to make sure we're doing as much as we can with this money. 
And we know they're coming from both of these sides. So the more towers we can have, the better. And then this tower here is going to get a lot of action. So we're going to upgrade that to max. I don't know if I want to go for ballista or not. I think I'm actually going to go for hot oil, being that we're not being attacked by many big creatures. It's just a crap load of small ones. Uh, I think that tower might be too far to upgrade. Yeah, unfortunately, they're all 15. Um, I guess maybe this one might reach it. So we'll upgrade that. I have four gold left. There's literally nothing I can do with four gold. So let's just upgrade some homes just so my residents are a bit happier. All right. And I feel like uh, keeping these guys spread out was a smart idea before, uh, being that it kind of attacks at two areas at once. So I'm not going to bring them with me. We're just going to start our night. And hopefully this time we can go a bit better. Yes, archers. Hit them hard. Hit them hard and hit them quick. I don't think it's doing any damage right now. All right, but that's fine. I have learned that we want to make sure we're deep. I think we, if we damage this guy, he spawns less units. I still haven't totally figured that out, but I feel like that's what we have to do. We have to damage him enough to the point where he moves. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, the walls are looking much better. I think he goes this way now, right here, right? Yes, okay. Going in for the swipe right away and swipe. I swiped too early. <laughs> he didn't take any damage yet. There goes my special attack, but that's okay. I should also mention I changed one of my perks. The uh, the actual castle deals rapid damage now. And as you can see, that seems to be helping so damn much. Okay, that side's been done. This is going much better, I can tell already. Oh, in the middle, in the middle. <gasps> over, boys, over to the middle. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is brutal. Uh, this is why I didn't want to move my units, but they move on their own. Oh, don't die, don't die. It's okay, castle, everything's fine. You're, you're not being attacked right now. All right, they'll... All right, they'll be able to deal with those few units. I need to get out and again, wait for my special attack. There we go. Damage output is insane. God, that castle perk is, uh, is huge for dealing damage to this boss because it does have extra range as well. I don't think the castle was hitting it at all before. So good choice on the perks here. My walls are still very, very powerful. Guys, in, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Screw these guys. Get in the middle. Oh, they're not listening to me. Get over here. Get over here. I am your king and you shall listen. Please help me. Please help me here. There. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I can breathe a little bit here. Oh my God. Did we do it? I shouldn't jinx myself, but we have a lot more help in the middle here. And we just ripped this freaking head off. Yes. Oh, dude. Oh, it pays to learn in this game. That, that went so much smoother. Is it over? Is it over? I'm scared. I think I hear fighting over here. Oh, well, I missed out on the fighting. We did it. I don't think the castle really got touched much at all. Oh, and my first boss victory in this game. And that's a new record in terms of score. We got magic armor now, a new upgrade path for your level three castle center. Magic armor gives you a massive amount of health points and enemies take damage when attacking you. Yes, please. I wish I had that when I was fighting this boss. Did we get another one? We did two levels. We got a perk point. You can bring a plus one perk to, into each game. That's kind of OP'd, so I, I can only have two before, and then perks are fantastic in this game, and almost level 24 as well, which is clearly Vikings, and I would love Vikings. All right, well, that's only one out of six, but that is also a big bummer that that is all that is currently re released in this game in terms of different areas to go to. Uh, definitely my favorite one yet, just having a boss fight was fantastic. I hope the creator adds a bunch more of these uh, maps to this game, because yes, it's fun to upgrade our, our units and get stronger, but I would like a little bit more of a challenge as well. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see more. We definitely have more quests to do, uh, which would make this much harder, but I think I will wait until there's maybe some new maps to check out this game again. Once again, this is Thronefall. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.